was from the wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that people were being prepared for the prophethood of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in various ways. Previous prophets gave their people glad tidings of coming of the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ibrahim alayhi salam invoked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to send a messenger from among the Arabs. Allah answered his supplication by sending Prophet Muhammad. Ibrahim alayhi salam says, Rabbana wab asfihim rasoolam minhum yatlu alayhim ayatika wa yuallimuhum al-kitaba wal-hikmata wa yuzakkihim innaka anta al-azizul hakim. Elsewhere in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that he revealed glad tidings of coming of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to earlier prophets. Allah says, الَّذِينَ يَتَّبِعُونَ الرَّسُولَ النَّبِيَّ الْأُمِّيَّ الَّذِينَ يَجِدُونَهُ مَكْتُوبًا إِنْدَهُمْ فِي التَّوْرَاتِ وَالْإِنْجِيلِ يَأْمُرُهُمْ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَيَنْهَاهُمْ عَنِ الْمُنْكَرِ وَيُهِلُّ لَهُمُ الطَّيِّبَاتِ وَيُحَرِّمُ عَلَيْهِمُ الْكَبَائِثَ وَيَزَعُ أَنْهُمْ إِصْرَهُمْ وَالْأَغْلَالَ الَّتِي كَانَتْ عَلَيْهِمْ فَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا بِهِ وَعَزَّرُوهُ وَنَصَرُوهُ وَاتَّبَعُوا النُّورَ الَّذِي أُنْزِلَ in particular, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the glad tidings that Prophet Isa alayhi salam gave to his people. وَإِذَا قَالَ إِيسَ بْنُ مَرِيَمَ يَا بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلِ إِنِّي رَسُولُ اللَّهِ إِلَيْكُمْ مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيَّ مِنَ التَّوْرَاتِ وَمُبَشِّرًا بِرَسُولٍ يَأْتِ مِنْ بَعْدِ اسْمُهُ أَحْمَدٍ فَلَمَّا جَاءَهُمْ بِالْبَيِّنَاتِ قَالُوا هَذَا سِحْرٌ there was a concerted effort on the part of some Jews and Christians to distort their revealed books and to completely remove from them any mention of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Despite their efforts, the Prophet's name remained preserved in the Torah of as samira and the Gospels of Barnabas. As for the later book, it was still in the hands of people prior to the advent of Islam. But around the end of 5th century, of the Christian calendar, the church forbade its circulation. The scrolls that have been recently uncovered near the Dead Sea support what is mentioned in the Gospels of Barnabas about the Prophet The famous scholar and mujahid Al-Imam Ibn Taymiyyah said, Narrations which established that the people of the book, Jews and Christians, knew the description of the Prophet from their revealed books are related in mutawatir form. That is, so many people related such narrations that it is impossible for them to have conspired together in order to fabricate a lie. The native developers of al Madinah from the Aus and Khazraj tribes, who then became known as the Ansar, relate in Mutawatir form that the Jews of al Madinah would inform them about the imminent appearance of the Messenger of Allah. They knew that he was from the Arabs and they were waiting for him. The fact that the Ansar were foretold about the coming of Prophet is one of the main reasons that prompted them to believe in the Prophet when he invited them to Islam. Salama bin Salama bin Waqsh, a man from the Ansar, was one of the Muslim participants in the Battle of Badr. He said, We had a Jewish neighbor who lived among the clan of Banu Abd Ashal, which was an idol-worshipping clan. Just prior to the advent of Prophet wasalam, this neighbor left his house, came out to us and sat in the gathering of Abd al-Ashal. He mentioned resurrection, the day of resurrection, the accountability, the scale in which good and bad deeds will be measured, paradise and the hellfire. He was speaking to people who were polytheists and idol-worshippers, people who didn't believe in resurrection after death and in that gathering he said a prophet will be sent in the direction of these lands and he pointed towards Makkah and Yemen the people in the gathering asked and when we will see him the Jewish man looked at me and I was one of the youngest people among them and said when this boy exhausts his years he will be around when that prophet is sent by Allah the nights and days did not depart until Allah sent his messenger who was alive in our midst we believed in him but that very same Jewish man disbelieved in him out of jealousy and as a form of transgression we said to him woe upon you were you not the one who said about him what you said he said yes but that's not him Imam Ibn Taymiyyah further says in a copy of the Zabur the Psalms of the David I have read a clear mention of the prophethood of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam and he was even mentioned by name I saw another copy of Zabur in which no such mention is made Abdullah bin Amr said by Allah the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is described in the 
the Torah with the same description that he is given in the Quran. O Prophet, we have sent you as a witness. It is also mentioned in Sahih as sirah and Nabawiya that Kaab al-Ahbar said, Verily I found this written in the Torah. Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. He is neither rude and he is not the one who raises his voice in the marketplace. He does not reciprocate evil with another evil. Rather, he pardons and forgives. Before the advent of Islam, scholars from the people of the book, at least the sincere ones among them, give glad tidings of the coming of Muhammad For example, while Salman Farasi was traveling from one land to another in search of the truth, he spent some time under the guidance of a monk who once said to Salman, Verily the time of a prophet who will be sent with the religion of Ibrahim draws near. He will appear in the lands of the Arabs and he will migrate to a land that is situated between Haratain which means land that is replete with volcanic rocks. This refers to the lands that border Medina to the east and to the west. The Jews of Medina would often say to their Arab brothers, Indeed, the time draws near when a prophet will be sent, who will fight alongside him against you. Some among whom later said, along with the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his guidance, one of the factors that prompted us to embrace Islam is what we would hear from the Jews. We were the people of polytheism and idol worship, and they were the people of the book. They had knowledge that we did not possess. There was enmity between us and we would inflict upon them that which they disliked. They would say to us, indeed the time draws near when a prophet will be sent. We will fight alongside him against you. When the leader of the Romans, Hiracul, received a letter from the prophet, peace be upon him, he said, I knew that he, the awaited prophet, had come, but I never thought that he would be among the Arabs. Mm-hmm.